the rule of five is going uh, you're going to use to identify and to interpret EKG strips. The rule of five represents rhythm, rate, whether it is atrial or ventricular rate, the PR interval, the QRS interval, and identifying the relationship between the P wave and the QRS. So you're going to take this strategy, and when you see an EKG strip, you're going to go step by step. You're going to identify if the rhythm is regular or irregular. You're going to see what is the rate of that EKG strip. You're going to measure the PR interval and identify if it's within the normal parameters or if the PR interval is prolonged. You're going to also measure the QRS interval. And lastly, you're going to make sure there are a P wave and QRS all the time. You want to make sure that there are not missing QRS complexes. You want to make sure that if you're looking at missing QRS complexes, that could indicate a heart block. So I want to take this step by step so you can learn how to do each one of these steps in the rule of five of EKG interpretation. So let's begin with the rhythm. And just for the purpose of today's presentation, I am going to show you how to identify the ventricular rhythm. You can also do it with the atrial rhythm, but just for the purpose of the presentation, I'm only going to show the ventricular rhythm. So how are you going to do it? Basically, you're going to examine the R to R interval on the EKG strip. And you're going to ask this question. Are they regular? Meaning that each heartbeat is equal when it comes to the R to R interval. You're going to ask yourself, is this rhythm regular or irregular? Meaning there is an increased duration in the R to R interval. What does this mean, professor? Show me an example. So let me show you an example so you understand. This is a regular rhythm. How do I determine that? Basically, you're going to look at the R to R intervals. How do you find the R to R intervals? Basically, you're going to find the QRS complex. So here's the R. Here's the R. This is what is called an R to R interval. And what you want to do is you want to count the small squares. Remember, on day one, I talked to you about the difference between the big squares and the small squares. So in this one, you're going to count the small squares, and you're going to see that in the first R to R interval, there are 17 small squares. When we go to the second R to R interval, we see that there are also 17 small squares. And so on as we go from one R to R to the next R to R interval. In each scenario, you're going to see that there are, in this case, in this strip, 17 small squares. So this is regular. That's how you identify that this rhythm is regular. Now, let me show you an example of an irregular rhythm. When we do the R to R interval and we count those, those small squares, you're going to see that it varies. For example, in the first R to R interval, we see 13 squares. However, on the third R to R interval, we see eight squares. But on the last R to R interval, we see 17 squares. So we can see here that it's not regular, as we saw on the first strip. So this is how you identify if the rhythm is regular 
or e-reg. <laughs>